This is Chris Garden of Houston Round Bar Review speaking with Justin Gorham, formerly of the Houston Cougars men's basketball team, graduate of the University of Houston, but also now a member of the, let me see if I can get this right, <laughs> Telecom Baskets Bond in the German Basketball Bundesliga. Yes, correct. All right. What does that mean? Um, I mean, Telecom is the German T-Mobile, and that's the team, that's the team sponsor. So, uh, you know, Bonn is the city that I'm in, and it's the uh, the basketball team of Bonn. So that's Telecom Baskets Bonn. That's what that stands for. But just a team in the German BBO, um, German's top league. Uh, we play, I don't know, I think it's 16 teams in the BBO. Um, so, you know, just – Played three games so far, uh, two and one in the league. Uh, lost a tough one on Sunday, but everything's going well so far. Okay, cool. Well, first, I thought uh, when you mentioned, I think Friday, I thought that was going to be the first game of the season. So y'all already played three games. Okay. Yeah, we already played three, yeah. Well, how you doing? How you been? How's it going for you so far in the league? Uh, it's, I'm, it's going good. You know, uh, you know, it's different, you know, just playing overseas basketball. Uh, it's a lot of different rule changes. Um, so, you know, just getting used to that in the preseason, uh, preseason, I think we played about five games. Um, I actually played against Devin Davis, um, one of the games oh, wow. um, in France. So, you know, everything's been going well. Um, just helping contribute to the team, you know, uh, just being an all-star in my role, like coach Samson always taught me. Is, does the rule apply in the German league to Americans per team? Uh, it's actually six, I believe. Oh. I think we have wow, six okay. on the team, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it's six, so not two, six, yeah. Okay, so who else do we – would I know any of the other five players, other five Americans? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, Try me guy, out, brother. Try me out. See if I know one, anybody. One guy from Arizona, uh, Parker Jackson Cartwright. Uh, we have a kid from North Dakota State, Tyson Ward, um, Jeremy Morgan from – University of North, University of Northern Iowa, um, and that's about it. Yeah, you're right. I don't know them dudes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, where are you in terms of how many minutes are you getting, and, and uh, what have you done numbers wise so far in those first three games? Um, um, I think I'm averaging about 24 minutes a game. Um, coming off the bench, probably six man. Uh. First game, we played Alba Berlin team. Um, they're Euro League. Um, they, they won the they won the uh, tournament. I mean, they won not the tournament, the league last year. Um, I think my first game, I had about I think I just had eight points. I played about sixteen minutes the first game. Second game, bounced back, played about thirty minutes, had a double double, um, ten points, twelve rebounds. Then followed that up with another game because we play. It's we all we it's a cup game, so we played. Okay. Uh, a cup game against Alba Berlin again. So we went out there, we lost in the cup game, but that doesn't interfere with like the, the German BBO, um, you know, that league, like it's just a different, like it's like a tournament. Gotcha. Like, yeah. It's a tournament. So uh, we lost that one. I had a double, double again. And then just recently I was in foul trouble um, on Sunday. So I didn't really, I wasn't too successful in that one. So how have you, how has adjusting been for you? Well, first, how long have you been in Germany? A couple months? I got here August 4th. Okay. August 4th. So what is it? October 11th. Um, now I've been here two months, three months. Um, it's been, you know, it's different. You know, everything's different. You know, first time overseas for a long period of time. I mean, I took trips with the team with Italy. Um, my former school, I went to Ireland, played a couple games. So, you know, it's just different, you know. Uh, different languages, just going to the store, seeing different languages, got to Google translate everything when I'm going to the grocery store. Um, so, you know, it's just different. I, I knew it wasn't going to be different. So, you know, I'm kind of embracing it, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm starting to get, starting to get used to hanging things. Have you learned any German yet? Nah, nah, not at all. I mean, I know a couple of like, thank you, stuff like that, but I haven't, haven't really started studying any German vocabulary yet well since you got six americans on the team does your coach and the staff do they i guess split it up in terms of communication with you guys some in oh, english uh, some in german no nah, did my my coach actually isn't from germany my coach is from finland so 
you know, on the wow. court, it's, it's all basketball. I mean, it's all English. Like, basketball is all English. So, you know, I'm never, like, you know, the odd one out if they go going over play and I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, sometimes it's like broken English when the coach is talking. But sure. I can understand. I can understand it. And he understands me. So it's very good communication. Uh, the German guys, everybody speaks English. So it's not like anybody on the team is, you know, doesn't know any any look of English. Have you have you uh, seen the sights? Had time to do that? Uh, I've had time to do a little bit of sightseeing. Um, a city about 30 minutes away is called Cologne. They have a really nice mm-hmm. big cathedral um, that I went to go see uh, in August when I had downtime, really. But not really. Uh, I mean, we, we played two games in Berlin, so that was nice just seeing the city. You know, they have a stadium that's like an NBA arena. It's called the Mercedes-Benz arena so that was that was pretty nice seeing and playing in so um you know not 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 much sightseeing but you know i get out explore the city of bond a little bit i'm in a nice spot you know nice downtown little plaza and everything so how how often do you guys uh play how many games a week uh one one game a week sometimes it's the season uh i believe the regular season ends in at the end of April and playoffs start in May. Okay, so we're looking at Eight thirty to forty games. Uh, yeah, yeah, forty games, I believe. How 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 often do you guys practice? Uh, after games we'll have off. Um, like a day after the game we'll have off, but every other day, so six six times a week, once a day. How many hours? Um, it it depends, you know. Today was our first practice after our L, so it was a little longer than than some of them. But, but I mean, it really ranges from a uh, two hours, um, two hours thirty minutes. Nothing, nothing crazy like three hours or anything. But how different in terms of style is your head coach to uh, Kelvin Sams, Coach Kelvin Sams? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think it's many that can compare to Coach Sam. Um, but my coach, uh, he's actually a good coach, a uh, tough guy. You know, uh, he tries us every day in practice, you know, mentally, you know, tries to, you know, um, see how we respond to different things. So he's a good coach. Um, this is actually his first year coaching in Bonn, but he has been with another German BBL team for five years. He was very successful there, came over here at Bonn, and, you know, we they were struggling the past couple years, but – you know, I think we're going to have a successful season. So he knows what he's doing. Good coach, good guy. So, you know, just looking forward to finishing the rest of the season. How often do you have time to connect with with your mom and, you know, folks here in the States? Uh, a lot. I mean, when I'm not when I'm not at practice or anything, you know, since I'm over here by myself, you know, I just try to, you know, stay in touch, um, stay, communicate with my family, stay, uh, communicate with my friends. You know, I FaceTime my mom more than I ever did when I was in the States. So, uh, you know, that's good. But, you know, just any downtime, really, I just connect with them, you know, make sure I'm still in the loop of everything, make sure everything's going well. Will you have any time off for the holidays? Um, We have two breaks. Like, I think they call them FIBA breaks. Um, Okay. I think one is in November and then another one is in March. So, yeah, I think I'll have – I don't know if I'll have – I know we don't have any games during that time, but I don't know what the practice schedule is. But um, Christmas, I don't think because – so because we play December 26th, day after Christmas. So, you know, I'm still going to be grinding on Christmas like I have past four years, five years. <laughs> so so no no chance for you to, to come back to uh, Houston, visit Fertitta Center this season? Uh, I haven't looked at the schedule. Uh like I said, I don't know if during these FIBA breaks we'll have off of practice. I mean, I would love to come to a game, come to come to Fertitta Center since it's going to be back full capacity. But I don't know. It's going to be tough. Have you heard from uh, the coaching staff, U of H, keep in touch with them? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I still keep in touch with them. Um, you know, I talk to Coach Quanis, Coach Kellen checks in on me. Uh, talk to Coach Sampson, you know, text Coach Sampson. Um, you know, always they're always checking in on me. Uh, seeing how things are going. So, you know, always, you know, want to continue to keep that relationship open. So, you know, always checking in on them too. Have they given you any insight, info on this year's squad, man? 
Uh, they ain't give me no insight. I mean, um, you know, I was around Houston in the summer. So, you know, mm-hmm. I used to see the guys, you know, go to uh, open gym, you know, um, go to their team practices. So I know a little bit about what they got going on over there. So what did what did you see from those summer summer workouts? Um, it's going to be a different team. Um, I feel like they're athletic. Um, I feel like they can be a great team, great defensive team. Um, you know, we always been known for our defense, but I feel like they can take it a step further this year. You know, they got a lot of guys that can guard multiple positions. Um, and, you know, I'm just excited to see the guys who didn't have, I wouldn't say, didn't have the a major role. Well, not a major role, but didn't have, you know, like Tremont Mark. You know, I'm interested to see how right. he's going to do. Um, you know, had a great freshman year. I feel like his role is going to be even bigger this year. Um, Fabe, I know he's going to have a great year. You know, he's been there for about four years. So, um, J. Juan Roberts, um, just everybody. And the, the guys that the guys that they got transferring in, you know, Kyler. Kyler's been on the big stage. Uh, Texas Tech, I think Kyler was on the team when they went to the national championship. So, yep. you, you know, he knows what the big, big stage is about. Um, you know, Josh Carlton, he played in the league. Um, he he actually played very well every time we played them. So I know he's going to develop well with Coach Sampson. Um, so, you know, I'm just interested to see. You know, I'm be tuned into every game, you know, just watching. What's what's the uh, the time difference between uh, here and there? It's 9 o'clock p.m. right now, 9.13. So, seven. so you're going to try to watch the games as much as you can. As much as I can. Uh, yeah, it's gonna, I it's, gonna be it's, tough. it's gonna be tough to watch the 7 p.m. games, but you know the 1 p.m. games, you know the games on weekends. I'm gonna try to catch. But I mean, if I if I miss a 7 p.m. game, I'm gonna definitely watch it that morning when I get up. Any advice that you 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 give players who uh, have pro dreams? Um, I mean, just you know, don't change. You know. Um, I was blessed to play under Coach Sampson. You know, he gave me tips. You know, I might say it every interview, you know, attitude and effort. You know, that's that's really what I think about before every practice, before every game. Just uh, have a great attitude and show great effort. And everything else will take care of itself. So, you know, uh, just telling people, you know, just to stay positive. Um, some days are going to be tough. You know, you're over here by yourself. Well, if you're overseas, you're over here by yourself. But, you know, you just got to push through it. Uh, because everything will be good at the end of the day. And I always ask this question to uh, players I talk to who are overseas. Are you getting paid on time? Yeah, I'm getting paid on time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's one of the most important things right there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Any any thoughts on the ultimate move of U of A to going to the Big 12? Uh, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited to see. Uh, we were normally, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're still going to be the blue collar. We're not going to be a blue blood, but, you know, just to compete in that conference, Big 12 with the Texas Techs, the Texas. Uh, what? Well, not, not Texas. Not Texas. Texas. Yeah, not yeah. Texas. Yep, yep, yep. Kansas still going to be there, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, Kansas. Oklahoma? Nope. nope. SEC oh. with Texas, yeah. Oh, yeah, but we're still competing in the Big 12. You know, um, not that the American isn't a competitive conference, but – you know, I feel like that's a higher step up. Um, I feel like it's going to bring in more like big, big time recruits won't look over Houston on American or anything. So, you know, I'm just interested to see how uh, we're going to do. I mean, I know we're going to be successful. So, you know, just can't wait to see. From one U of A alum to another, have you received your first correspondence asking for a contribution to the program? <laughs> no, I don't think I have. Not yet. Not yet. It's coming. So where would I receive it? In my email? Uh, probably. Probably yeah. in the email. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen anything yet. But, uh, you know, I mean, if not, it, it, heck, they might have sent it to the coach's, coach office. You know, who knows? But uh, <laughs> eventually, you know, you'll be hit up to give back to the program. So I'm yeah. sure you won't have a problem with that at all. But uh, yeah. uh, is there anything you just want to add and say to the people before we sign up? Uh, no, I mean, Houston Cougar for life. I uh, love Houston. It's like a second home to me. Um, but, you know, praying for a good, successful season, and I'll be tuned in.